Okay, so every fucking possible thing that could have gone wrong while making this video did go wrong while making this video. Um, but basically, the whole thing is going to be voiceovered, and I'm, I'm so sorry. The quality is so shit. Um, but anyway, this guy, I uploaded this clip online, and this guy asked me to, um, if I could please break down the, um, like the ALP file and maybe send it to him and just explain like how the project works. And I was like, dude, that's so fucking cool that you're at all interested in this shit. Um, so thank you very much. And, uh, this video is pretty much for that guy. Um, so yeah, I have this kind of Amber-esque, um, uh, track I made last night and I'm just going to, um, break it down the best I can, like super fast because I have like less than a gigabyte of space left on my computer. And I also have to go to another class later. Uh, so this is the track. Um, this is just the session view. You can see here that the, uh, the drift and melt are side chained at that kick way on the end. It's a really aggressive side chain. It's pretty fucking nasty. Now I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the drift. I've isolated drifted, or I've solo drifted meld, and this is just like the melody and some chords. So there's a lot of expression control, like random mapping with rise, fall, really simple, um, um, like drift um, patch. And then you know it's got like a like a, a nice echo that has like a ton of feedback. You know there's high resonance for filters, so it has kind of an acidic quality. Uh, there's a touch of flanging. There's some kind of generous reverb with high density. Um, the filter frequency on the uh, uh, the delay is modulated by that alpha there. The oscillator shape on oscillator one on drift is modulated by another LFO. This is a really weird patch, I think. Uh, so you got you know, some kind of noise uh, oscillator, and then you have an FM oscillator, and um, there's a healthy amount of echo, uh, mostly just high frequencies, not as much feedback, still a lot, um, an ample amount of wet, and then the uh, oscillator is modulated by an LFO in some fucking way, I can't even remember. Um, and then this is just the percussion section. I have these snow snares, which is like, now everything is stock except these um, these drum synthesizers, but I think you can get them as free Max for Live devices with live. And then I have Roar, like randomly changing on every, uh, every MIDI trigger. There's another Echo. There's like another pretty generous reverb that has like a ton of size. Um, there's this weird... There's this weird corpus, I mean, it's just like the bright snare presets being modulated by an LFO. The fucking audio broke on me again, oh my god. Okay, the operator, this sounds a lot like Terra Terra to me. The course is 0 0.5, it's got a little bit of a soft shaper, like like 3.5, like 3.56 decibels. Oh my, okay, it, it's, it's polyphonic. I don't know why it's polyphonic, it just is. It's got spread, it's got tone, it's got a hybrid reverb for color. It's got, I mean, the, there's like nothing on the hybrid reverb. It's, it's like a very short decay. Then you have like a tiny bit of ring and a tiny bit of chorus just add more color you can barely notice the ring there is another longer reverb on there and then i have these weird hi-hats i mean these are a drum synth pack that i think it's max for live i think it comes free with live i'm actually not sure um that you know it's just like ring and then delay and the L and then lfo then obviously like a little bit of reverb for color and then there's like weird duty cycles and phase on the ring and then if i i, I look at the kick the kick is like the stupidest fucking kick i've ever seen in my entire life man like it's ridiculous um, um, yeah, I put OT, I, I routed OTT into drum bus. It sounds it, nasty and disgusting at the side chaining. It just cleaves right through the melody and the pads. I like it. I don't know. I think it turned out sounding pretty good. Then there's only one more thing, and this is an FM perk, I think. I'm actually not really sure how this synthesizer works, but, you know, it sounds, it's very pretty. Um, it's reverb with like a ton of decay, and then this is the track. This is my master. It's flatlined with limiter. The limiter is like plus nine decibels, so it's kind of fucking brick wall. It, it's it's like any actual audio engineer would, would be like freaked the hell out. It's disgusting. I think it, I don't. It it sounds good. If you're not redlining, you're not headlining. And then here's what it sounds like at, 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 at you know like 60 BPM, and it's like more atmospheric and shit. I don't know, man. I spent like three hours on this video. This is more effort than I'd put into any of uh, my call assignments oh my god weird might have to turn into like a gaming streamer <laughs>